Hey guys, TPC with Customs here. Today we're taking a look at the Imagination Word Kyoku. Uh, there's a lot of people that don't like it. I personally don't like it, and we'll discuss the things I do like. There's definitely some flaws on it, and we'll discuss that as well in the review. As you can see here, uh, that's the box. That's the figure. That's an SH figure as Goku, so you guys can see what it looks like right next to each other, because I know you guys want to see it. Uh, I like the size on this figure. I love big figures. No homo. Sounding pretty good. Uh, but, I'm gonna say this right now. Really good figure. Like I said earlier, really good figure. Like I said earlier as well, definitely like some flaws. But overall, I like it. Uh, but, if you were expecting him to be 6 inch, I'm sorry for you guys. He's, he's 1 9th scale, as you can see right there in the box. 1 9th. Right there. Uh, that's the line. I'm pretty sure he's like 8 inches. But the line's supposed to be 1 9th scale. Uh, I do not have a ruler, but we will be going over size comparison in the, in the video. We'll be going over. Uh, you guys will see. Uh, but right now, let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. see going to get some light real quick uh as you can see right here uh, the clothing has a texture it's supposed to be like a realistic statue type of look i guess i don't know uh people calling it jump force uh i guess you could call it jump force goku i don't know uh but i don't think they're going for jump force look i think they're just going for the iconic statue look because if you search up any uh brand presto dragon ball statues stuff like that they all have this type of detail as you can see in the hair and the clothing, shading everywhere. So, they, I don't really think it's Jump Force Goku. I think just a you know normal statue type looking, very detailed Goku. Uh, but yeah, as you can see detail, everything, the shading everywhere. Zoom shading in the boots. As you can see black shading right there above the lace. Really nice. The arms made of rubber or uh silicone i think it's very squishy as you can see very nice very nice uh i think that's all the detail oh no wait as you can see right here this is all plastic uh it still doesn't give that much articulation but you guys will see that in the articulation section i believe that's it uh yeah let's go over accessories as you can see here it comes with the stand right here it's pretty big. It has Imagination Works uh, labeled on the base. It's a really big stand. It feels like pretty good quality. I'm not going to lie. There's another one of the the clips. It just doesn't have this thing right here. I have it inside the box. I forgot to take it out. So sorry about that. But I'm pretty sure you guys don't need to see it. It just doesn't have this part right there. I have this one on because it's more balanced. Uh, but yeah. Range or articulation stand. It feels, it's really tight by the way. Which is good. Feel side all the way. As you can see, it goes forward. Oh, it's a bit loose. It's a bit, it's a loose right here. You can see, it spins too easily. Feel back. As you can see how tight. It's pretty tight, which is good. Like I said, because a big figure, you don't want them to fall over in the stand. Goes forward even more. I'm not gonna do it though, because it's too tight. And then right here, it goes forward about that much. Then it goes all the way back, as you can see. Really good. And then the clip itself has rotation right there. And then go back all the way. And then all the way forward. And here's everything the Goku comes with outside of the box. Here's different combinations you could do with the eyes. And here's all the hands he comes with. And 
in case you guys were wondering how to plug in the faces, like the eyes and faces and everything. So you grab a pair of eyes you want. I have the straightforward eyes. It can work with any eyes. You just plug it into these two holes right there. Push it in. Uh, I like to push it in when I have the face on. You grab the face. As you can see, four pegs in the back. Put it into these four holes. Align it up with the eyes. And just push. And it should be perfect fit. And then you grab the front piece. As you can see, three pegs, three holes. Plug it right on. And that's how you do it. Same thing goes the same reason right there. Let's get over articulation. The head is in a double, a long double buff I'm going to show you. Where's it going? Problem is, the hole is too deep. So it can give you the best range looking up, but it's still really good. I'm going to show you. If I can plug the head back on. I also want to point out that the hair is very spiky. Watch out when you try to push it in. Uh, but that's how much you can get. Camera. That's how much you can get with it looking up. And then looking down, it's really good, as you can see. And then side to side, it's really good. And then I want to point this out real quick. I'm going to go ahead and grab my flashlight. It's a double ball peg, a long one, as you can see right there. A ball peg right there connected into a ball peg right there. It's really good. So it gives you really good range. That's how far it could go up. And then forward. Use both of them. Push. Get them moving over a bit. As you can see. That's the best you go forward. I also want to point out this, since many people don't know this. This sleeve right here is actually on a hinge too. Let me see. I'll show you guys. show you guys uh but it's in a hinge so you guys can move the shoulder sleeve if you like push it in pull it out it's also soft plastic and it's shaded it's a bit blue shading there which is really nice the thing about this figure is that you really have to move it or uh, work with it ah uh, the app section on mine is very tight let me show you uh, i don't want to move it anymore i'm not i'm not moving it but as you can see, you guys heard that, very tight. Go forward, a little bit, back, up that far. So it's pretty much useless, doesn't give you that much range. The legs, oh, I haven't showed you the elbows yet. This also bicep swivel right there. It goes full 360, I forgot to mention that. Since luckily the gate is made out of soft plastic, you can move it anywhere. And here, yeah, I'll just point out this defect right now because we're already here. Our problem, Let's see, it's not really picking up on camera. Let's see, come on, focus. Go and see if it, it's forced on this one, see if it works. Yeah, as you guys can see, there's like little things on it. Like, I don't know what the hell that's called. Whatever the hell that is. That's because it's silicone. It seems to attract stuff like that. I don't know why. It's really annoying. I'm not sure if it's silicone or rubber. I don't know the difference to be honest, but it's really annoying. I don't know how to clean it. I just wipe it off all the time and then more comes back later on. Sorry for my bad lighting. Let's see, it gets wipeable. It's wipeable, you can just wipe it off. It didn't come like that. It's just from the dust, I guess, I don't know. It's really annoying. Elbows are really good though. Let me show you. Look at that. Look at that range. That's more than SH figure arts. Let's see. Really nice, really nice. Now the wrist, the hands are sculpted. All the hands are sculpted with, uh, as you can see right there, a cut. So you get more range. So as far as you could go forward, which is really good. Then as you can see, it's cut in the back too. So you get really good range going back. Really nice, really nice. The legs is where it sucks. It's not as bad as the app, but it still sucks. Can't spread it out that far. They could have easily fixed that. They could have easily done something. Uh, let me just want to show you exactly. So here we have a, a model select Black Panther. You see this joint system? House like that. See? 
that cut right there, they could have done that on the Goku and it would have gotten more range. Sucks, but it's still really good range or pretty good range, I guess. Could have been better though, a lot better. Uh, the thigh swivel right here, it's really good. Well, it's enough. So yeah, really good. The knees are beautifully sculpted. Look at that. Better than SH figure to knees, in my opinion. Really nice. The, uh, what is it called? The hinge. Oh, my phone on the storage, but like I was saying, the hinge right here, it's really good. As you can see, it has a cut, both sides. Really good. Ankle pivot, there we go, that's the word. And toe hinge, really good. Goes down that far. And up that far. Not that good. Still pretty good though. But not as best as it could be. And I believe that's it. Oh yeah. Legs go forward. Uh, uh, it could go far. I don't want to force it because I don't want to break it. There's been some people that broke it, but that's because they forced it outwards. So don't force your legs. Be careful when you move it. That's as far as it could go, which is pretty good. Back. Oh, I just noticed the defect. See? Some paint rub from the belt. The back can go pretty far on this leg. This leg does not want to go back for me. Let me show you. I meant to had a change of mind now. Nope, it doesn't want to go back for me. So there's this leg that wants to go back. This leg doesn't. Pretty stupid. It's because the sculpt is pretty trash right here. See? Right there. This part is preventing it from going back. Cause it's touching with this part or it's gliding. He's gotta shave this part off, which I can do, but I'm not gonna. And you'll be able to move it back, but you can see. Hopefully, just my problem. The problem for my figure. That's it, hopefully. But yeah. Uh, so we are guys next to Luffy from Very Black Shingles. And then uh, Figma Ryu. Or Ryo. And then here we have SH Figures Goku, as you guys can see. Uh, if you want to scale him with Luffy, I think he fits. I'm not sure. I know Luffy's supposed to be smaller, but I think he's a bit too small. But it's fine because we have Imagination Works Luffy on the way. I'm hyped for him. Let's move on. So here's the problem I was talking about. One, the too tight. Two, the, the I don't know whatever you want to call it. The, the things that get on. The dust, I guess. I don't know. It's way more noticeable in person. I don't know why the camera does pick it up. But as you can see. And then two. Or I mean three, the fact this leg can go back. And then fourth issue, the legs can't spread out that far. And then fifth issue, I'm going to like show you. It's not really an issue, just the design choice that's pretty trash. The butt is nasty. Look at that. If you want to put him in a power up pose, you can't look at him from behind. It looks good from the side or in front, but behind. You have to deal with that. Pretty nasty. Still a really good figure in my opinion. I like it. That's the end of the review. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hear some pictures. If you guys want to see more pictures, check out my Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is in the link in the description. And see you.